Hi everybody and welcome back to the reconnection space where we talk all things reconnection, reconnection with ourselves, reconnection with the world around us, reconnection with the future that we want to build. So today I want to talk about the roles that you play in your life. Now, we have many roles in our lives um, and we have many labels that um, attach to ourselves, some that we are aware of, some that we're not, some that we enjoy having and some that perhaps we don't. But the fact is that we are hugely defined in our lives by the roles and by the labels that we have as we go through our life's journey. And I wondered if you'd ever stop to think about what are the roles that you have taken on in your life? And if you stop to think about them, which of those roles do you feel as though are aligned with who you are and how you want to be? Which of those roles sit comfortably with you? And which of them feel at odds? And, and, and why is that? Um, and I think when you're looking to reconnect, before you again jump into the conversations about what other people should and shouldn't be doing and how relationships are going, looking at the next step of the roles that you play and how you see those roles and how you play out those roles can be really, really important. So if I look at myself, for example, I've got some quite obvious roles I guess, some labels that I have. Um, I have the role of um, a wife, I have the role of a mother, I have the role of a daughter, um, I have the role of a therapist, I have the role of a businesswoman, um, I have the role of a friend. Um, and alongside that, um, I might feel as though I've got some other labels. So I might be within my group, I might be the listener, the one who always kind of listens to what's going on for everybody else. Um, I might be the caregiver. So there's a whole definition of different roles and labels that we have. And when I said that we are defined by those roles, when we really notice that is when we have a transition in life when we move from being defined by one role to being defined by another role and how does that impact our sense of self so again here's my example that that I've really kind of had to get to grips with um, I went through my separation and divorce and became in effect a single parent uh, but I became a parent who was financially independent so I was blessed I worked hard to get to that point okay so there I am I'm the main person you know the children the two girls are living with me they're living in the home I'm paying um, for that home I'm working full time and uh, we have a good standard of life okay so that's me financially independent and I'm a career girl that's what I want to be doing and that's how I see myself but then as my life progressed and I met my now husband, um, we decided that we wanted a family of our own and that opens up lots of questions and choices. It meant that I would have to rethink that role that I had where I traveled and I was away from home quite a lot. Um, it redefined then how we would have our relationship because I was going to be at home um, a lot and that would be new for us if, if, if I changed roles. So there was that to consider. But the biggest thing for me was not just the, the change from being that career person, was that change from being somebody who'd been completely financially independent to being somebody who had to trust somebody else to be financially dependent on in, in, in many ways. And when I went on maternity leave, that was a huge change for me. It was a huge shift in how I was defined as a person. And then when I wanted to set my own business up, I knew I wanted to do that. The thing that held me back 
wasn't really about the what if I can't do it what if I'm no good at it I, I had trust in myself I had trust that I knew that I could do this the thing that stopped me from making the break and taking on the business full-time was the fact that I would then not be financially independent because with the best will in the world I couldn't build the business up while still working full-time so there would have to be that transition period where I allowed myself to step away from it and that for me created a fear it created an anxiety and I actually changed jobs three times before I got to the point where I said I have to do this. I have to do this and I have to be brave. And again, I'm blessed and I'm thankful that I have a relationship where we have that trust. But that's just how we're defined because it changed everything about me. Then I had to redefine myself as um, I wasn't a career girl anymore. Was I a therapist? Was I a businesswoman? What was my new thing? And it's interesting that we search for these titles. So there's titles that we really enjoy having and there's titles that we don't, but we search for the titles because it gives us some structure and it gives us an identity. So I just wonder how many of you have gone through that. I know I've spoken to clients who, again, have made that transition from being in successful career roles to then having a family and for whatever reason, stepping away from that career um, and taking on that new role as a mum. And they have really had to think about what that means to them as that sense of identity. I think it's really important to look at because if you don't feel fulfilled by the role or the label that you have, that is going to impact on your relationships with others. So it's another way of looking around you and saying, why is this relationship not working? Well, the first thing I need to think about is what role am I playing in this relationship? What roles am I taking on in my life? And if I'm not happy with those roles in my life, of course, it's going to impact how I'm externally being because I'm not fulfilled inside. So there's lots of ways that these roles and labels define us. So if you've got a role or a label where you are defined, then why not drop me a note? Let's talk about that and let's share that experience because it is so common. Once you have examined the roles that you play in your life, think about whether they're roles that you chose to take on or roles that you just kind of ended up taking on. That can be tricky as well. You may never have thought that you would suddenly be in that position but you are in that position. Maybe within a friendship group, you have taken on a role and you feel as though that isn't the role that you want to play. Maybe you're always the peacemaker in your family. Um, you are always the one that feels as though you need to smooth things over. But actually, you're wondering, why was that me? Why am I the one who always has to make the effort here when everybody else around me is just getting on? Why do they see me in that particular way? And how do I feel about that? Because once you've identified how you feel about the roles, that's going to help you to establish going forward how you want that role to be. We can't always just give up the roles and labels that we have in life. Sometimes we need to carry on with them, but it doesn't mean that we can't start to redefine them. It doesn't mean we can't start to put boundaries in place, expectations in place of how we want to be treated and how we want to see ourselves in those roles. So there's so much to think about in the roles in your life. So I urge you take a few moments to sit down and think about who am I? What roles do I have? And how am I defined? And what impact is that having on my life? And is it fulfilling me? And if it isn't, why isn't it? And as always, that gives you choice. Now you have choice. You can see what needs to be different. So I hope you enjoyed this short recording all about the values and uh, the roles that you play in your life. And I look forward to speaking to you next time here in the reconnection space. Take care.